Good evening once again. Stores here in western New York and all over the country for some reason still cannot seem to stock enough toilet paper. And that has some people getting, shall we say, a little bit too creative. Sewer authorities want to remind you, you cannot flush things like napkins, paper towels, and wipes down the toilet, especially those wipes. They do not break down like toilet paper does. And they can really cause some big plumbing problems and an even bigger headache for your wallet. Tonight's 7 Eyewitness News senior reporter Eileen Buckley breaks down what you need to know. We're seeing a dramatic increase in wipes and everything from diapers to anything that people can get down their toilet. With COVID-19 causing a shortage of toilet paper, a lot of items are filtering through the treatment plant at the town of Tonawanda wastewater facilities. Director Michael Kessler says it causes damage to the pumping station and is costly for the town to repair and dump the material at a landfill. That in turn ends up in a taxpayer's water bill. Towns, cities, and villages are urging you not to put things in the toilet like paper towels or even wipes that say they're flushable. Yeah, there's a lot of things that are flushable, but they're not biodegradable. Uh, there is some legislation trying to prevent people from even putting that on the product. But between your house and the treatment plants is all the, like the village of Kenmore, Tonawanda, Cheektowaga, all older areas, the pipes are older. So now you're adding foreign stuff and a lot more cotton stuff and it's getting caught. Plumber Mark Casca and his crews were working on a home in Kenmore Tuesday where baby wipes clogged the pipes. He's seen an uptick in calls. Baby wipes have always been a problem, but if you look at them and actually hold them or people that have had kids and you try and pull those apart, that they're like pieces of cotton. But this plumber is also finding more unusual items that should never be put down a toilet. People are also cleaning out their refrigerator, some stuff that has expired and uh, I mean, pot roast, really? I mean, they're just not using common sense. The Cheektowaga Sewer Department used social media to get the message out to the public. A tweet saying to flush or not to flush. The town is also seeing a big increase in debris, even rubber gloves and rags. Another big no-no, flushing paper napkins. The message for all is pretty cut and dry. The only thing that should go down the toilet is toilet paper because it is biodegradable. In Kenmore, Eileen Buckley, 7 Eyewitness News.